Welcome. Today, you talk about the double-flanged sutureless capsular tension ring or capsular tension segment. The author has a pending patent in PCT and agreement contract with AJL Spain about Canabrava ring and pending patent in PCT about flanged capsular tension ring and capsular tension segment. This technique won a prize in ASCRS in 2017 in Los Angeles. For the first time, this technique was described using a CTS capsular tensor segment connected to a haptic that has been removed from a three-piece IOL. How you can see in this video, this was the first video described. But in my research, I discovered that a haptic is a monofilament with 5-0 sides. Then why not to use a 5-0 monofilament about polypropylene or hexafluor polypropylene. Then, now, we don't need the haptic anymore, and the best technique name is double flanged sutureless for capsule tension segment or capsule tension ring. Today, I will present this technique with four challenge cases. Let's go to the action. A sclerectomy about 2 mm from the limbos in the same quadrant of the zonular weakness using a 30 gauge needle is made. The needle does not transfer the capsular bag while it's paced to the anterior chamber. You can see in this video, in the next video, how you can use a simple hook to make a space between the bag and the iris. Step 2. When the needle is in the anterior chamber, a 33 gauge microforceps is used to place the 5 volt polypropylene suture into the 30 gauge needle's inner cavity. Pay attention. The needle and the microforceps with 9 degree distance. How you can see? Then, in the step 3. The needle is used as an external guide of the suture and within the sclera. Step 4. In the two video, the author 5 suture and is placed in the center roll of the CTS or the modified CTR and heated and shaped into the flange. Step 5. The CTS or the modified CTR is then placed in the same quadrant of the zonular weakness, how you can see in this video. Step 6. Cut the 5-0 monofilament with about 5 mm, then read it and shape it into a flanger. Finally, the second flange is then inserted into the sclera using a Macpherson forceps. Again, another video. And now you can see how the flange is inserted into the sclera using a Macpherson forceps. The final result. Another patient, you can see how the IOL is stable inside the eye. Pay attention in the flange, in the red square. This video shows same pause operatives. You can see the flange. You can see the IOL stable. Another patient, you can see the flange. You can see how the IOL is stable in the back. This is uh, UBM, how you can see number 2, the flange, and number 1, the complex CTS. In the LCT, you can see the flange in the sclera. The future is now. You are researching and testing a new concept of capsular tension ring 
and cap flow tension segment. The name is flanged cap flow tension segment or flanged cap flow tension ring. The ring will be produced connect with the 5O monofilament suture how you can see in this image. This video show for you the first test with the first capsule tension segment, the first flanged capsule tension segment. You can see how the monofilament, the suture, is connected in the ring. Now you can see the ring is placed in the weakness on the area. This was the first patient that I used the flanged capsule tension segment. You can see the flange, the second flange, and now you can see how the IOL is stable inside the bag, and I'm inserting the flange inside the sclera. Then, finally, you have two options at the moment. You can buy a simple 5O or a 6O, you can do this technique with a 6O2, monofilament suture and a simple capsule tensor segment or a modified capsule tensor ring and do the double flanged suture last technique or you can wait to buy the new concept of capsule tensor ring or capsule tensor segment the name is flanged capsule tensor ring and flanged capsule tensor segment after our research thank you for your attention